Good morning, Columbus. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Daily Dose of Digital Torah Inspiration here at Sinai Studios, Judaism Today. Everyone wants to know the secret to a good relationship. There's so many books in the store on relationships, how do you do good relationships. Every rabbi knows when they want to give a class or a lecture, you start talking about relationships and people come. People always want to know how to improve the relationships in their lives. This week's Parsha contains the secret to relationships. The Parsha opens by Yikra El Moshe, that God called to Moses by Daber Hashem love, and then God proceeds to speak to him. And Rashi is bothered by a question. Why the emphasis on calling and then talking? Just talk. Why does the Torah like sort of repeat itself? Go, and God called to Moses, and then he spoke to Moses. Just say he spoke to Moses. What's with the redundancy? So listen to this Rashi. It's amazing. It's exquisite. It says Rashi. L'chol dibros, l'chol amiros, l'chol tzivuyim kadma kriya. When it came to Moshe, when it came to God's communication with Moses, there was always preceded by calling out to him. Moshe, Moshe. Why? Says Rashi, because it's Lashon Chiba. It's a language of love and endearment. Lashon Shamalachi Asharis Mishtamshin And it's a language that the angels on high understand. This is an important and incredible Rashi. It reminds us of the secret to relationships. You see, relationships require intentionality. They require forethought. They require consideration. If we treat our relationships haphazard, had God just said, Moshe, do this, it would have lacked in the love. Of course, the, the material, the information that God was trying to have conveyed would have been conveyed just the same. But the, the, the subtlety, the nuance, the, the relationship component, the love, would have been missing. So Rashi explains to us that God called out to Moshe and he said, Moshe, and he calls him first. And he sets the tone that he's considering this and he's thinking about him and he's on his mind. And then he launches in to the content which he wants to convey. And as we think about our relationships, I think this is a critical idea. Are we giving them the forethought that's necessary? Are we calling to them first before we talk what we actually want to say? Or are we just jumping in? When we give our relationships consideration, when we think about, when we contemplate them, when we consider them, how can we improve them? How can we make them better? You know, you send a card, you give it the attention you want, you have a conversation first. You don't just dive in to the content. But there's always that calling out first. There's always the forethought. How can we do this? What will, the, what will my spouse like? What will they appreciate? What, what will they want of, you know, how will they respond to this? When it's not just spontaneous, spontaneity also has a place. But when it's not just spontaneous, but when there's actual strategy, forethought, consideration, contemplation, that's when you show the other person that you love them that, because they're on your mind. You're thinking about them. How can I please them? How can I make them happy? How, what more can I do for them? And this is a secret to relationships from this week's podcast. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Judaism Today. If you did, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or check into our podcast, wherever podcasts are listened to. And we look forward to hearing from you more.